morning. Welcome to KHC Couples Devotional for the month of December. Today is the 17th of December and the topic is how love languages can help your marriage part two. I started yesterday with this topic and we conclude on it this morning. The five love languages are one, words of affirmation, two, quality time, three, acts of service, four, receiving gifts, and five, such. Number one, words of affirmation. I explained yesterday that here, words matter a lot to your spouse. You show your love to him or her when you speak kind words, encouraging words, humble words, and you generally know how to speak with a gentle tone of voice. Here, quality conversation where there is deep sharing of thoughts, feelings, desires, dreams, and hurts. Here, your work shows understanding rather than being critical, judgmental, nagging, lecturing, or preaching at him or her. Number two, quality time. Here, your spouse only sends your love when you spend quality focused time with him or her. Your undivided attention speaks volume and shows you value and respect their feelings and person. Here, doing projects together is a plus. Togetherness and not just proximity is the greatest need of such spouse whose primary love language is quality time. Spending time together uninterrupted, discussing issues your spouse considers vital are also very important. Number three, receiving of gifts. The spouse with this as his or her primary love language sees gifts as an act of showing and expressing your love. Here, gift shows you are thinking of and about them. It's the thoughtfulness about the gift that makes your spouse see it as an expression of your love. The gift need not be expensive, but regular buying of items speak volumes. When the gifts are meaningful and significant, your spouse feels special. Failure or excuses to give gifts, especially on a special occasion like anniversaries, hurts them deeply. Number four, acts of service. Here, your spouse only feel loved when you seek to love them by service. When you do things with and for them, they sense your love deeply. Helping out with house chores, career, projects, or office work shows you care. Your spouse here feels action speaks louder than words. If you love me, let me see you do things for me. Your spouse believes you only care when you do things to help her. Number five, touch. The spouse whose primary love language is touch only senses love when there is meaningful physical body contact or touch. He or she feels your love when you hug, kiss, hold hands, rub your back, or any other kind of touch that they enjoy. Here, sexual intimacy is very important and they associate deep connections to it. Regular unannounced touches make them feel special and loved. It is important each spouse firstly find out what their primary love language is. This is important because you can now have meaningful quality conversation on how this primary love language can be expressed in such a way that the spouse's love tank is filled. This should be done in not being judgmental or critical, but seeking to teach your spouse what matters to you. The aim of each spouse is then to aim at not focusing on their own needs being met, but on their spouse's deepest need being met. Every spouse should know that the only way your spouse will ever feel loved is when you speak their primary love language. If your spouse's primary love language is not a familiar terrain to you, you must learn it. Your desire to learn and speak your spouse's primary love language is the only evidence that you aim at making your spouse happy and fulfilled as a person. This is the only way you meet his or her deepest desire and yearning to be loved and cared for. Now the meditation for the day. Genesis 2 verse 25 KJV And the man and his wife were both naked and were not embarrassed or ashamed in each other's presence. Prayer for the day. But one, Lord, teach me and give me wisdom and patience to understand and speak my spouse's love language. Number two, Lord, keep my marriage by your power. Number three, Lord, bless my home. Then the confession for the day, 
I receive the help of God in my marriage. I understand my wife. I am deliberate in my marriage. I understand a love language. I speak a love language consistently. I will make my wife feel loved. I will not neglect her. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart. And so I love my wife. I, I will speak the right words. I will not be careless with my words. I speak words to build her up and not to tear her down. I will give my spouse my time and attention. I will not ignore her. So help me God. Amen. The action plan for the day. Do something that speaks your wife's love language today. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international giving, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandhouse.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage. And these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlogs.com slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road, in the city of Ibadan. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock, and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.